Yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, and uh, then, and 100 money. pesos, okay. No, okay. And uh, keep, keep the camera on this. this <laughs> I want him to, I, I okay. want to know what this is. For example, this is your, uh, this is what we, we are doing right now. Uh -huh. And uh, once we attend our workshops, mm -hmm. uh, the Beyond Entrepreneur Skills Training Workshop, mm -hmm. I need your help to, <laughs> you, need to you know, can, can you help me blow? Okay, okay, all right. Blow? That's it? Oh, there's a lot of water. Okay, we'll transform. Wow, hey, look at that. Oh, oh wow, can I have that? <laughs> 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 I have a okay. to do that. What, what I'm saying is okay. that uh, we add entertainment in uh -huh. our trainings because we believe that uh, mm -hmm. if we're going to learn, it should be fun. Okay. And uh, through that, Fun through that mm -hmm. excitement, we'll be able to retain that knowledge. Okay, so you do magic so, tricks. We have magic tricks. We have wizard <laughs> hat. We have some yeah. props like uh, playing uh, cards and everything. So we will show you dragons. Uh, no, dragons. well, well <laughs> there will be there will be some sort of dragon there. Yeah, there is. Uh huh. So that's that makes a uh, training more fun. Uh huh. Hmm. How about you, Jam? What is your what what is your, what does your tra what do your trainings have to offer? Um, our training style is more of tidbits of information okay. because entrepreneurs normally are very busy. Mm -hmm. And um, to add to that, it's online. Oh, it's, it's online. All online. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. It's not the usual recorded video that you see on websites. It's mm -hmm. really live online seminars with mm -hmm. resource speakers or experts. Right. Um, what's different about it is that it's more collaborative. Meaning, on a typical physical, you know, setup, um, mm -hmm. you might have 50, 25, 50, or even 100 people in the seminar. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we talk to a lot of people, or the attendees, is the real frustration is when they attend seminars, mm -hmm. is that their questions are never answered because there's not enough time. So oh. ergo, they don't learn anything. So it, they can at least repeat this uh, oh. if it's online, right? Uh, yes, that's one. Mm -hmm. And uh, the beauty of an online seminar or webinar, mm -hmm. um, the way we do it is that we really make sure during that duration, for example, an hour or mm -hmm. so, your questions or the attendees' questions are answered. So they can now immediately apply it mm -hmm. to you know, even their career or in their businesses. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, so, so two different ways of learning. I mean, there are a lot of other seminars out there, right? I mean, there, there's, there's Francis Kong. Mm -hmm. there, there are other uh, entrepreneur seminars there. Are they all, I mean, are they all good? Should I attend all of them? <laughs> Ever? Uh, how about you, Jam? Can you tell me? Um, you could if you have the time. Why not, right? And if you have, I mean, if you have um, a lot of time and effort, I mean, sorry, and money, sure, uh -huh. why yeah. not, right? Uh -huh. um, but personally, I think uh, the way I, I think I'll just share my experience, the way I choose a seminar, uh -huh. especially in, on entrepreneurship, is I check the objectives or mm -hmm. I really call up the organization that's offering and, and you know, ask. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's going to happen? What are the activities? Mm -hmm. um, so there are there, you know, is there fun in, mm -hmm. involved and all mm -hmm. that? Because each entrepreneur's you know goal at that moment is mm -hmm. really different. Oh, so yeah. pick that one and know exactly that when you you know make that investment, at the end of the day when you're done with it, hey, I can now apply it and then I can do something. All right. Pretty so may maybe we can show our tip box for for the day. All right. Now, I mean, I, I, I've compiled the tip box, and uh, we usually show this to, to uh, our viewers because it's like a take-home for them, okay? Now, um, is the tip box ready? No, yeah. Oh, I don't know. Uh, they, they can't. <laughs> okay, there it is. No, no, it's not pyramiding in Ponzi's. Uh, it's the other one. Uh, yes, that one exactly. That one. <laughs> okay, so let's let's see our first uh, set of tips. This is like the eleven. Um, these this is like the eleven reasons why businesses fail. Okay, they don't understand the market. Yes, we we touched on that. I think it came through the question and answer. Okay, the Humpty Dumpty effect. Actually, I added that one. <laughs> they lose hope when reality sets in. Yes, the reality that business is actually hard. They fail to market their businesses, very important. And uh, they fail to keep good records. Oh, we didn't mm -hmm. touch on that, but that, that's there, right? And then, of course, they, fail, they have the feel that they have to do it all. You, you shared 
Something yeah. like that. Mm, yeah. And how about the next page? They don't educate themselves. They just wing it. That's where training comes in. Okay? So they have to continue to improve. They pick profits over people. There, we also discussed that. And they fail to improve themselves. Yes, they fail to improve. And they, they, have, to de they have developed an inappropriate business relationship. Well, I think that uh, has something to do with uh, uh, their relationship with their business partners or, or something like that. And they fail to communicate. Okay, so you can get more details, uh, BizWiz resources, and all the information you see there in front of you. Um, please take note of it. Uh, please also send your name. That's in the next slide. Okay, well, g please send your name, um, where you're from, your phone number, email address if you have them. Okay, so now let's just to uh, end uh, a little uh, uh, a bit of this. Okay, I'll ask for your final statements and then we'll show a, an AVP of, uh, of best. Okay, so let's, let's end with uh, Jeff first. To lessen the failure rate mm -hmm. and to increase the success rate, mm -hmm. well, one of the most important and one of the most important leverage in, in the world is mm -hmm. education. Education. Yeah. Knowledge in the information age is power. Mm -hmm. Plus action, of course. <laughs> All right. okay. uh, How about you, Jim? Um, keep on learning. It's, mm -hmm. it's pretty much the same. Um, I think we all have to be a student of our industry, mm -hmm. pretty much, of our businesses. And um, that's going to help you at least minimize um, you falling down or failing in your business. All right. So, uh, Derek, can we show the AVP for, uh, for uh, the best workshop? If, uh, it's just a few seconds anyway. Okay. So, here we go. There it is. Best workshop. Um, it will be on November 20 and 21. Get into the excitement. And uh, also, if you want to learn more about the best workshop, we have a free workshop on October 21, which also happens to be Jeff's birthday. Happy birthday. Wow. Okay. Birthday. On October 21 at the Makati Stock Exchange Penthouse, 6 p.m. Is that 6 p.m.? 6 p.m. at the Makati Stock Exchange Penthouse. Free two hour business simulation. And now, um, we're ending the show with uh, this. Yes, that's the best workshop there for us to get to. Now, let me end this with, uh, with a saying that is really close to my heart as usual. I will say, 
It's not about perfection. Since we were talking about failure, it's not about perfection. It's about connection. Make that connection. Okay? This is Boom San Agustin. This is SME Forum. Have a great morning.